I am always picking up a foundation. Like, what's my problem? You know, I'm going to play brave and rank them. Hi, everybody. So I'm going to attempt something that I hate to do, which is rank products um, or choose like favorite, favorite, favorites out of everything. So I have been doing a uh, declutter recently because um i'm in the beauty chat room which is a really phenomenal group on facebook and um the admin which is carleen her, her channel here on youtube is i carleen go check her out um had posted about foundations i decided to go and check how many foundations i had and when i got to 48 earlier i stopped i have a problem if anybody knows about foundation therapists let me know because I mean, I'm glad that I did it because I was able to, in this Sephora VIB sale, not purchase a single foundation. Like, yeah, me. I am always picking up a foundation. Like, what's my problem? You know? But anyway, so because of that, I've been doing a declutter. I'm looking at my foundations, um, using things that I haven't used in quite a while, see if I still love it or if I, you know, I can't remember my thoughts about it. Um, either throw it away if it's too old or gift it to somebody else who might use it or maybe I like something else more. So, you know, um, because of that, I am able to do this video, I think. And today I'm going to give you my top five drugstore foundations. Yeah my top five drugstore foundations and i am not going to be mentioning revlon color stay or l'oreal infallible pro matte in this video and i'm doing that on purpose because those two i don't wear either one on its own i actually mix them and together they are perfect on me in terms of shade and how they wear and so on bulletproof um but the truth is guys i have not worn that combination in more than nine months it could be a year and that tells me that I am actually loving uh, my other drugstore selections. It's not that I don't love that anymore, but I just am not using it very often. So I'm leaving that out, not because I don't love it, but simply because I have been using some others and these deserve mention. I know we've like been beating Revlon, Colistay and L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte on the head. And you all know that I have oily skin generally. So you would find that I will choose foundations, get to that. But there are some here that other skin types can actually use. I'm going to play brave and rank them. So the one in fifth position is this one, the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation, um, which has SPF 20. And this one is for all skin types. I use the shade DN3 and just a MAC reference. I am around a MAC. 44 nc 44.5 okay um and i use this shade dn3 it's a pretty good match i would like it to be a little little bit um warmer it's a neutral shade but the warmer shade in the same like number was going to be too dark for me so i opted for this one and actually i could make it work my bh studio press powder which i love my ben eye powder warms this up enough um so it works great on me um what attracted me to this um was beside hearing some reviews um the fact that this foundation has a couple skincare additives in it it also has spf 20. now i'm not depending on foundation to give me my spf but because it has spf it gives me a little extra um protection on top of my spf that i applied during my skincare routine and i was shocked at how much i began to reach for this now this one does not have a pump it comes with one of these large doe foot applicators not the most hygienic thing but again i'm using it on my skin only it will go on usually on clean skin but that will also mean that it's easier for bacteria to get into the rest of the product um, i'm actually almost done with this although it looks like that's just because foundation is all around i'm actually almost done and i will actually pull out um, maybe put this in twice um, on my skin I will get um, you could get a light coverage with this but generally I will go for medium coverage with this foundation and I love it it has a it has a scent that totally reminds me of this one which will get honorable mention you wet on my photo focus but I'm not talking about that because I, I, I'm not reaching fit very much um, anymore it smells almost exactly like that and this foundation reminded me a lot of the wet and wild photo focus um but yeah this gives me um six to eight hours where i will have to blot with this but 
you know it blots really nicely it's not promising to keep you matte but it gives you a natural finish if you're looking for something that's going to be good for your skin because it has some skincare products in it but you know still i mean this is bulletproof in terms of the blendability it blends like nothing it's very very lightweight you really can't make mistakes with this you put it on and you can you know talk to your friend on your phone and blend whatever this works nicely with a brush. I prefer a brush to help with the coverage because it is a lighter coverage. But yeah, lovely, lovely foundation. And I actually found that I reach for this very, very much. So that's my number five. My number four would be the Maybelline super stay full coverage foundation. Um, I have one here, um, but I actually have to mix two. And that would be the, one of the things that I will say is downfall of this line. Well, when it started, they started off with 16 shades. I think now it has more than 25. Um, I haven't repurchased in terms of like finding a better shade match. Probably there is, but I mixed, I usually mix 334 and 312 to get my, my perfect shade. Um, 330 is just a little little bit too warm for me and one of the other complaints that people have about this foundation for some people in terms of finding their shade is that it could be a little bit too orange so keep that in mind the issue the real issue with this one would be the shade range but besides that it's an excellent foundation when they say full coverage they ain't lie like this is one of the most full coverage drugstore foundations that you're going to find and when they say 24 hour i have not worn the foundation for 24 hours but i have worn this for probably like 16 to 18 hours yeah that long this will stay on it will cover everything and um i actually prefer to use this one with a beauty blender and although it's such full coverage, it's not very, very cakey at all. Actually, it doesn't look cakey at all. Um, it sets nicely. No, something that a lot of people get confused with this foundation is that they say um, they find that they get oily. This did not promise to be a matte foundation. At it, It's not a matte foundation. When you first apply it, it looks as though it's going to be matte. Um, but very quickly, it will go to... Um, it, your oils will start to come through but what i like is the oils come through lovely and it blots very well so while i will get oil coming through this foundation it because it blots well i'm not going to complain oily girls you need to be working with blotting sheets or even with a blotting powder and no i'm not going to wear a foundation we have to be blotting every two hours i don't have to do that with this foundation it still gives me good coverage um good lasting ability but when the oil starts to come through it still looks nice your skin looks fresh and you just look like you have on like a, a real best face because your skin looks completely flawless with this one so yeah i really love this um this foundation um, I am not really into the Maybelline Matte and Polish. I used to call that my down the road foundation because literally that was had a break up in two, three hours. Yeah, I, I got rid of that. I don't use that anymore. My number three pick goes to um, the CoverGirl, CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. This foundation um, boasts of being comfort matte, comfort matte and transfer resistant and a lot of these new foundations these matte foundations are saying that they are comfort matte because they are matte but not like that you know take all the life and all the moisture out of your skin kind of matte dry matte um it's a comfort matte meaning it feels comfortable but it still looks matte not looking shiny that kind of thing and i completely agree that found this foundation does that this foundation has like it's a, a a lot of shades. I it will be more than thirty shades, I believe. Um, by the way, I will include price information and so on for each one in the in the comments below in in the description box below. Um, but I use shade T seventy. This one is the most olivey tone of all the five that I'm talking about, and I was a little bit concerned about you know the match. Um, with this one but it actually works really really well um this will give me medium to full coverage i could build this up to full coverage this is very very long lasting like with this i think um i started to blot around the 11 hour mark and i have worn this foundation i think the longest i've worn this foundation was about 16 hours i did again a complete review and there's a details with photo stamps and so on on both my facebook and my instagram page if you want to find it i will put the link um below as well so did you go go check out the details but this one is a great foundation and they're the previous covergirl foundations that they were i've like thrown them out because their newer offerings covergirl is hitting it and you'll see because i have an next covergirl um, foundation to mention in this video so t70 caramel is my shade um and if you're a little bit more olivey i find that they have a, quite a few shades in this range that has those um undertones but yeah a really really nice um foundation that's also very very comfortable Number two goes to NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And this is also a full coverage foundation. They boast that this could last 24 hours. Again, I haven't worn it for 24 hours. 
this foundation has a whole ton load again of shades i think more than 40 shades you're bound to find something i use honey it's um 15.8 yeah 15.8 and this to me guys is the closest thing that i've found um to revlon color stay and actually I prefer this to Revlon Colors Day simply because the match is better, the shade match is better. But in terms of where, um, how you apply, how it looks, how it builds, how it lasts, this was the closest thing that I found to Revlon Colors Day, but this is just a more perfect shade match for me. Um, my oils will come through with this maybe around the 13 hour mark. And when I say come through, I mean just a little thing around my nose. This stands up to the heat. And I really love that for long days if I want a more matte um, foundation. And they say it's full coverage, but I will get full coverage on two palms. I love to apply this with a brush or a beauty blender. Either one works with this particular foundation. Um, it has a pump, another great um, feature of the foundation. But yeah, look for this. I'm not sure if it's available locally yet. People may be bringing it in, but it's a real, real good option if you love Revlon Color Stay. And looking to replace her with another matte foundation, that one will be good. And my number one foundation, and I did post a review about this as well, but I need to mention it here, is this. And I'm shocked. I'm really, really shocked. And this is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation with broad spectrum SPF 20. And this foundation was recommended to me by a friend. I always take her recommendations. She never stays me wrong, especially when it comes to foundations. Big up to Trudy um and this foundation not only is a great match in the shade 760 for me but i i am in love with everything about the foundation but this foundation is does not claim to be a matte foundation it's a natural finish foundation when you put it on you're going to see that you're not looking matte um but by the way it's the foundation that i have on right now it sets beautifully i get medium coverage immediately like when you pump this out onto your skin um you know to apply it it comes out thick and you're thinking oh my god this thing gonna feel heavy you don't I, I don't feel anything you feel like you're not even wearing foundation it's very lightweight but it blends like a dream um it looks beautiful on the skin and this also has spf 20 so you get a little bit extra protection but just like the physician's formula which was the foundation that re it reminded me most of um it has extra skincare um additives in it so this one has vitamins for your skin um so it's giving your skin giving your skincare a little bit of a boost as well um um with this foundation it's not only long lasting in terms of the wear um and although they don't say it's matte, they actually said that it's going to help control oil. And I do find that to be true. Um, I find that when the oils start to come through, they come through beautifully. Your skin just looks better as the day progresses. When you wear this, it just looks healthier. Like that name, Healthy Elixir, is the perfect name for this foundation. And guys, I really can't believe that CoverGirl has taken the number one spot. Like if I have to choose between wearing the Revlon color stay mixed with the L'Oreal Infallible, the CoverGirl, I will choose the CoverGirl. And I have been choosing the CoverGirl. Actually, I don't know, like, I mean, what you all think about how this looks on my skin. I actually think it looks better than some of my high-end foundations. I really, really love it. It's available now, but it's selling out everywhere um, locally. So if you can get a shade match, like, go check it out. The shade match, the shade range, I should say, is not the best um it's way smaller than the nyx or the other cover girl and i am guessing that since cover girl could have come out with so many shades for the the true blend matte made that they may come out with more with the healthy elixir so look out because if they do like get it everybody needs it and that one all skin types can wear it like everybody could wear it you just put the right primer um you know you use your right satin spray and you're good to go so just to recap the ones that I think that more skin types could use would be the Physician's Formula for sure, dry to oily, um, the Maybelline Superstay, and the CoverGirl. The, the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir, the CoverGirl Matte Made, and the NYX Can't Stop would be geared more to combo oily skin. Um, but yeah, so everybody could get something from this video, could try something from this video, and those are my top five drugstore foundations. Was this helpful? Only please do be asking me to do too much top fives because that's real, real pressure, especially eyeshadow palettes. I am giving my disclaimer now. I ain't doing that one. But we will see how it goes and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. What are your top drugstore foundations currently? Um, put it in the comments below. I might try something. Another foundation, Sherry. <laughs> Bye.